In lesson 2.1, we saw how Streamcat persists a user to the database in the handler for the slash register endpoint within the application. And in lesson 2.2, we saw how to create and associate a dedicated Amazon IBS channel for each user. In this lesson, we'll see how the Streamcat application uses the AWS SDK for JavaScript to create an Amazon IBS chat room for a user. To create a chat room for the new user, we invoke the create chat room method of the chat room service inside of the slash register endpoint handler. The create chat room method uses the IVS chat client from the AWS SDK for JavaScript and sends a create room command. The create room command input object requires a name property for the chat room. For this, we use the username property of the user entity to keep an association between the resources for each user. Each chat room references a single shared message review handler AWS Lambda function, as well as a shared and pre-built chat logging configuration within the logging configuration identifiers array. Refer to lesson 1.4 to learn more about these pre-built resources. The slash register endpoint handler collects the channel properties returned in the create chat room command output object, constructs a chat room entity, and associates that entity with the user. In this lesson, we learned how the Streamcat application creates an Amazon IVS chat room for each user and associates that chat room with the user. Later on, we'll see how to add live chat to the user's channel page to allow the broadcaster and viewers to interact with one another.